What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and you guys already know the deal. We're hopping onto that ranked double ladder and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves an awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Kyogre team alongside with Reggie Draco, Talonflame, and Life Orb Cinderace. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, the support has been crazy on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that has been going out across this channel. But I was looking at my analytics, and about 60% of these viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So what are you guys doing? If that is one of you guys, make sure you scroll down a little bit. Hit that big red subscribe button so you stay up to date with all my videos. And it just makes things easier for you guys. So I'm not just popping up in your recommended feed. Put me in your subscriber feed. Makes things easier for you guys. And you guys support me as a content creator as well. But getting started with this team, we're looking at the top left corner. We got Cinderace with the Libero ability so we can switch uh, typings with each move and get stab damage all around. We have the life orb for the damage boost, and then we got high jump kick, bounce, iron head, and sucker punch. This Cinderace actually threw me off a little bit, considering it has no fire moves, but it stab everything, so it really doesn't need it all around. Right next to it, we have Serena over here with the Queenly Majesty, so first turn priorities cannot hit me or my ally Pokemon when that Pokemon is out on the field. We got the Cobra Berry for those air moves, and then we got Power Whip, Taunt, Helping Hand, and you turn to pivot out. Middle left is the heart and soul of this team. It's going to be Kyogre, Drizzle Ability, Wave Incense, so water moves can do more damage, and then we got Protect, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Thunder as our final move. Right next to him, we got Regilecki. Focus dashed up so it can't get one tap, Transistor Ability, and then a fairly normal moveset for Regilecki's with Protect, Thunder, e web to control speed, and Eerie Impulse for that special attack drop. Bottom left corner is an awesome Pokemon that I haven't used in forever. We got Reggie Draco over here with a Dragon Maul's ability and Dragon Fang item. Both these items and this ability is going to allow Dragon Moves to do a lot more damage. And then we got Dragon Energy, which is a huge stab Dragon move. It's basically Water Spout for Dragon. It's based off of HP and all that good stuff, so it can do a lot of damage. We got Draco Meteor for our giant stab move. And then we got Hyper Beam for our coverage move. And that still is going to be able to do a massive amount of damage. Final move is going to be Protect. And then our final Pokemon is going to be Talonflame, our Tail win pokemon with will-o-wisp taunt brave bird and like i said tailwind guys you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on to that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this kyogre reggie drago team first battle coming at you guys and before we get started you guys already know the deal gene's got to ask you guys question of the day and that is what pokemon spinoff game would you guys like to see make a return for me I love the Pokemon Ranger series back on the DS. I thought that was so much fun. I would love to see another one of those. Or Pokemon Stadium. Both those games are phenomenal. And I was a fan of Pokemon Pinball. I thought that was pretty cool. But maybe make that as like a little eShop game. I think that could be awesome. But all three of those games are my top choices. And I would love to see your guys' choices in the comment section down below. But we're going up against a Zashian team alongside with Dragapult, Rillaboom, Landers, Clefairy, and Rotom Heat. I'm thinking I want to get into double hitting moves here. I'm not going to go on the Reggie Draco considering he has Zacian. That kind of annoys me. I could go Kyogre and uh, Serene over here. Because that could protect us from first turn priority moves. Could go them too. I could go Talonflame as well. Could go Talonflame, try to get that speed boost and get rolling from there. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually do that. Keep Serene in, in the back end or out of this battle. We're going to go Cinderace. And then, do we go Regilecki? Or I could bring Serene in the final spot or just go Reggie Draco. Reggie Draco. Could be decently good. It's just not going to be able to do work up against that Clefairy or the or the Zacian. So I'm just going to go Regilecki in that final spot. Yeah, we're going to get rolling from there. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was checking my analytics. And it used to be like 50-50 where like half the viewers were subscribed and half them weren't. Now it's up to 60. Like, yo, if that's one of you guys, just support channel. I used to be the same way when I used to watch YouTube videos before I made videos. I used to be like, oh no, I, I don't really watch this guy like too too often or like i do watch some people often i'm just not subscribed to the channel but seriously it helps out the content creators tremendously and only takes secondary guys time just scroll down a little bit hit that subscribe button but this guy leads uh okay he leads dragapult and lander so i'm perfectly fine with this lead. i can tailwind and drop a water spout all day he has no fake out he can't do any of that stuff he does have an intimidate which is only going to affect my uh my talent flame but i'm totally fine by that I'm really fine by that. You might drop like a rock slide or something along those lines, but Water Spell is definitely gonna come out here and get after us. We can still do big damage, I feel like, onto that uh onto that dragon pole, even though it's not very effective. Unless it dynamaxes. Let's just see what his play is. We got the rain rolling. Um, I don't think he can really change up weather unless he dynamaxes, right? And if he dynamaxes at Lando, I see us just taking that thing out. Maybe, maybe. So let's just see what it does. Let's see what it is. We've been buzzing on this ranked ladder in the past two videos. I think we went two and one, and they were first two battle uh, victories. 
We went 2-0 and and then lost the third one. So hopefully we can keep that strong streak going and uh, keep it on from here. Let's see. Who are you going to go with? He's going to withdraw the Lando and go into who? Just send out Robin, which is totally fine by me. I'm going to be able to get off this Tailwind and then I can go into like a... I could go into a Protect and I could go into a Brave Bird and do big damage. And is the Dragapult going to get a Dynamax? That's my question. Does not. Okay, so Dragapult does not get the Dynamax. We set up this Tailwind and a big Water Spouse can come out here. Hopefully we can do decent damage all around. Man, get this rolling. Solid damage. Solid damage over onto that Dragapult. I think I can just protect easy this turn and go into a... Uh, okay, that's fine. He's going to vanish. And I think we're going to see a Grassy Glide here. I really do think we're going to see a Grassy Glide. I know that the Phantom Force can hit through Protect, but I still am going to Protect. Considering he could Grassy Glide on me and I can just Brave Bird over into the slot now. So let's just see. So we'll let this play out because I know Kyogre uh, is going to be faster than Dragapult. And the Origin Pulse can take that out next turn. But if he doesn't hit me, if I don't take any damage this turn from Kyogre, I'm just going to go into another Water Spout because that will be more damage because it's based off my HP. I drop Protect. Show me your Glide. Show me your drop in a Grassy Glide. Let's see. Brave Bird's going to come through beforehand. What were you going for? What were you going for? That's fine by me. We should be able to KO here. Yep. Even with Attack Minus 1, we're able to KO. And is that Phantom Force dropping on my Ky Kyogre slot? Show it to my Talonflame. Phantom Force comes over. Onto my Talonflame, which is lovely. He takes out Talonflame. That's totally fine. Talonflame picked up the KO and set up the Tailwind. So, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Dragon Pulse going to take some damage there. Kyogre can just Origin Pulse or Water Spout and take out him. So, I'm not even worried about it. And then I'm going to bring out Cinderace and end up Dynamaxing. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing, changing my typing, and roll from there. The good thing, I do not have a fire move. We're rolling in with water, so I think it works out perfectly fine here. Lando's going to get come out here. And I think we're just going to Water Spout and double up into the Lando slot. I think this battle's looking real good. He gets that Intimidate off. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's fine. I'm still not really too worried about it. The water spouts can come out here. That's gonna be able to do big damage all around. And then I'm gonna Dynamax and I might knuckle. I'm thinking of knuckling. Just to get uh my attack stat back. What do I steal spike? I go for whatever I want. I'm thinking of knuckling just to get that attack boost back. Hmm. Yeah, I said we do that. Because we have our boy Kyogre out here. He's gonna be able to do big damage on the Lando. And is Lando gonna Dynamax? That's my question. So I'd rather hit this uh, Max Knuckle, get my attack stat back, even though we're not going to do too, too much. And if he does a Dynamax, we're just going to pick up the KO regardless. The Cinderace should go first out of everybody, then Kyogre, which is awesome. Look at this, D-Max Cinder coming out here, coming up big. Hopefully I get to show off Reggie Draco today too, because he's a really cool Pokemon. And yeah, he's going to Dynamax Lando, so we might not take it out, we might go half an half. But after this, I can just go into a Steel Spike, because I don't really see him uh, taking me out with anything. Now that we're switching typing, because he's probably dropping a rock, changing up the weather, which is fine by me. He can change up the weather now. Let's see what happens here. He's going to protect. Max Duck is going to come out here. I'm going to change my typing, get a little bit more stab damage, even though it's not very effective. We're still going to be able to get off this uh, attack boost, which I want to bring us back to normal. So there's that. There's that. Could have went for a defensive boost. That could have been pretty nice. Kyogre's going to be able to drop a water spout. We're going to say buy the Dragapult. And we're going to do a decent amount of damage over onto Slender. Maybe KO? Let's see. Yo, dude, that's GG's. <laughs> get land. We get a crit. We get a crit. We get a double crit. Yo. Yo, the Jeans luck is in our favor today. It's in our favor today. Get this fool out of my face. Double kill from OP Kyogre. Dragapult faints. He has one more Pokemon. And I think he's just going to quit at this point. I really do. I really think he's just going to cancel the battle. I would double crit. What are the chances? I, I throw the controller at the wall, turn off the switch, and go back to GameStop and trade in my game. <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. He pulls out Zacian as his final mod. Doesn't have a Dynamax. He's going to get an attack boost. We're back to normal. We have Tailwind for one more turn? I think so, right? I mean, let, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, Tailwind for one more turn. And another Water Spout. Like, I'm full HP. Why wouldn't I go into a Water Spout? And I could just drop a Steel Spike, which would be the plan. Which is the plan. Battle was canceled. There it is. 1-0 to get us started. Battle number two coming at you guys for sitting at 1-0. Looking to go back to back here. I want to lead my Reggie Draco, but he does have Tapu Lele, who is a potential lead for this team. So that might throw me off. He has a Tailwind Wimscott, Shadow Rider Calyrex, 
Urshifu, Thunderous, and Incineroar for that Intimidate drop. Um, doesn't really have weather control. So I think the Kyogre Town Flame combo kind of works out strong here. I think it does. Like, I would love to go into Reggie Draco, but again, if he leads Tapu Lele alongside with, uh, with Calyrex, it's just going to kind of counter it up. Um, we're definitely going to go Cinderace. Cinderace is a beast. I might actually bring out Serene, but he does, he can, uh, make a Psychic Surge going. He can do that. I should bring Reggie Draco in the back for the heck of it. Do I do it? I kind of want him. He's pretty dope. Good Pokemon. He's pretty fast, too, and he can hit pretty hard. But I think Regilecki's gonna come in here. But I think we're gonna go same squad. I think we're gonna go same squad and roll out from here. We're sitting at one. No, that last battle was really, really strong. We did get the double crit, but it was really looking in our favor before we even went for that one spell. Like even if we didn't get a crit, I feel like we were still blowing that game out of the park and dominating it all around. But I went to go choose a team today, and I wasn't really looking to use a Kyogre team because I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing a bunch of them on the meta, but this team's dope. This team's dope. I saw it was like, this is like an off-meta Kyogre team. It's not the same Kyogre Tornadoes kind of thing going on. It's this team, and it's looking awesome. But he is going to lead the Wimscott and the Thunders, and i mm, kind of scared of that. kind of predicts my Kyogre, so I could have went into my, my Reggie Draco there. I could have. But I'm going to Tailwind here. I think I might protect. Do I protect? We're going to water spout. I might just drop a water spout. See if I can get this off. Or he might out outspeed me. But I might go for this. It's a play. I think he's going to outspeed me. So I'm going to drop this. Maybe I should have protected. Let's see what he does. I think I'm going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing. Yeah, Kyogre's gone. Kyogre, he's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Dang, man. I was too worried about the Shadow Rider Calyrex. He was just like, dude, I'm just going to go into... Uh, Thunderous. <laughs> I should have went to uh, Drago. Drago would have been a play. That could have been dope. Would have been really cool. Let's see what happens here. Are we going to go Tailwind for Tailwind? My Tailwind comes out first. Maybe he's not Tailwinding? I didn't go for this Orange Impulse because I think he's going to hit up on me. And we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. That's fair. That is fair. The way he does here. He goes for Lightning. Yeah, see, I knew he would outspeed. And that's probably just going to double my Kyogre, right? Rest easy, buddy. Rest easy, giant, legendary, tadpole kind of thingy. I don't even know what you are. Whale? I don't know. Hi, and ogres. <laughs> but he's gone. He's gone. Tears rolling down my eyes. They have played by us. Um, could go Cinder. I think I am going to go Cinder here. For the sheer fact, we can, uh, we can, what's it called? Get the defense boost, which would be nice up against this, uh, this physical attack and thunderous. Oh, I can't will it was. Ooh, that's lovely. That is a lovely turn right there. I am gonna get that defense boost. That's gonna be play. Will it was into that? Because that can actually give us a fighting chance. Maybe what I should have done. Protected Kyogre burned on that? That could have been power move. That could have been power move, but I was too focused on getting up the tailwind and matching him. That probably would have been power move and then just tailwind next turn. Nice. Been nice. Real nice. Should have thought of that beforehand. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see how he's going to go at first because this could be a solid play for us. I know he can max lightning us, but Talonflame should be faster. 100%. Talonflame's a fast little booger. Fast little booger. Cinderace getting the Dynamax. Getting that defense boost as well. Which is going to be nice. Hopefully, we can eat up some shots. Hopefully, because he's probably going to target that Talonflame with the lightning. Hopefully, Talonflame can actually eat this up and we can get off another turn and waste his Dynamax turn even more. We're getting big dog out here. Will of us comes through and it does connect. Yeah. Yeah. Big old burn. Big burn. Cinderace is going to steal spike. Maybe this thing's not Sash. Probably is. Not going to lie. But defense boost, like I said. Downfall can take out one spot next turn if it is Sash. It is. It is. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Here comes its focus Sash. And is he going to go for a taunt? What are you going to go for? No, because Taunt would have came out earlier. He's probably going to go for a Moonblast or something along the lines. See what he goes for. Dazzling Gleam. That's fine. My Pokemon are able to easy eat. And this thing's probably going to drop another Lightning. Yep. Then he comes through. Oh, one of the Cinder Slot. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats, yo. That burn and the defense boost. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. Now, from this point, we are going to go for a, uh, a Brave Bird. We're not going to take much recoil damage. I'm going to take out the Windscot. And then, I really don't want to change in the air. I think I'd rather stay here. 
What do I just change to dark? What do I want to do? Do have Ventilaki in the back end. What do I want to do? I could get an attack boost. What do I want to do, man? Yeah, I gotta go for darkness here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start chipping away on this thing. Helping hands can come through. Probably gonna try to take out my talent point, which is fine. Oh, we should have speed. Brain Bird's gonna take out Wims. Wims got get him out of here. Get Wims got out of here. Yeah, good good call by me not to go into that air and change into uh change my typing. Man. It's been rough. Talent point was damaged by recoil, but it do like one damage. I'm gonna switch to dark, which is fine by me. Luckily we're faster, so I can change according to what he's uh, using. Big damage with dark, so solid move by move choice by me. And I think he's, he might go for another uh, thunder, but this time over on the talent plane. It was defiant. Ouch! Totally forgot about that. Go go after talent plane. Go after talent plane so I can take you out next turn. Darkness can come through here. Over on talent plane. Talent plane still able to eat. That is lovely. That is lovely. And his dynamax turns are over. His Dynamax turns are over. There goes our special defense. Burn shipping away. And I think a Brave Bird can take that out. I think a Brave Bird can take that out. It really depends who he goes into. Let's see what he does. He's going to throw out Urshfu. Okay. Um, hmm. Talonflame still has speed because we know this thing's not Sash. Actually, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to Brave Bird. I want to airstream so bad. I think I'm just gonna darkness to take you out. Urshu's rather fast. He might outspeed one of our Pokemon here. He really does. But if we can get off this Brave Bird, that's gonna be easy KO, I think. That should be a KO. He has no Sash. Wim's got Sash. You gotta be Choice Bandit, right? Alan Flame coming up with that Sharp Beak. I think Recoil Damage is gonna take us out. But yo, you did plenty of work here. We should outspeed here. Yeah, there goes my Talon Flame. We should be able to take out you, and then we should have Cinderace and Regilecki here in our final spot. Yep, Max Darkness picking up the KO. Yeah, your boy's buzzing. Your boy's buzzing, even though he took out Kyogre in turn one. We had Cinderace in the back, and that Will O' Wisp came up really, really clutch. But he can still win this one. I'm not going to call it over just yet. Both Tailwinds are done. Uh, we should be final on the speed board. We have two very fast Pokemon. And who's this final mod? I'm trying to think, like, what Pokemon could actually end up getting him to win here. There goes my little Regilecki boy. And he's going to send out Shadow Rider Calyrex. Okay. And I have Sucker Punch. So I'm just going to keep Sucker Punching. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep Sucker Punch. Because that actually should be able to one-tap him. I'm going to keep Sucker Punching him until he get, uh, until he dies. And then, uh... I'm just going to hit 100% time. So this, this is probably the play. I'm just going to Sucker Punch. That should be GG's. Gene should have this one in the bag, baby. Sucker Punch comes through. Get him. Get him out of my face. No Focus Sash. He had a lot of Pokemon that could have had the Focus Sash, but didn't have the Focus Sash. So we were just one-tapping left and right. We ended up going back-to-back, -back, starting off 2-0. and Now we can hop into our third and final and look for that perfect record. Third video in a row where we won the first two and looking for that perfect record. We're going up against another Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Tyranitar, and I'm guessing that's Sandrush Dracofish. Guessing that's hidden ability, it's gotta be. Also has a Roboom and Cinderace and then a Tailwind Pokemon with the Whimsicott. I think I gotta go Tailwind again and I might actually... I think I'm gonna go Reggie Draco into Talonflame. I think that's the play. I think that's the play we're gonna get rolling with them too. I might come out with uh, Kyogre as just like a nice little back end mod. And then in the final spot, Cinderace. I am really liking that. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's roll out. Let's get after it. Let's go. Because he might lead that Roboom. He could lead that Roboom. Or he could lead the uh, the Tyranitar, or at least bring the Tyranitar in order to swap. Or he could go Drake Fish and Tyranitar. Just many options with this team. He could go Tal, or not Talon Flame. He could go Wimscott alongside with Shadow Rider Calyrex. Like this team is looking very, very versatile, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But hopefully we can get our Reggie Draco out there and try to shuffle him off in this battle. But if we lose, it's all good. Like I said, we already got that winning record and we're already buzzing for you guys. But let's see. Whom are you going to lead? And your boy's tired. I'm tired right now. I don't know why. Woke up just feeling a little off. Feeling a little tired. But like I said, I've been busy. I've been really busy. Changed up my sleep schedule. So that might be why I'm tired. Waking up earlier. Trying to go to bed a little sooner. But sometimes I can't. Because again, I'm still working on a sleep schedule. Because I've been super busy. Super, super busy. But still getting out that contact for you guys. So hopefully you guys do enjoy everything I'm bringing to the table. He's going to lead that Rillaboom and Shadow Rider Calyrex. Um, do I tell him? 
my tail. Um, do I still tail? Man? I'm thinking of it. Well, I'm thinking I still outspeed both these guys regardless. I think we might not need a tail in here. He's gonna seed up. He's gonna get that defense. Speed. I'm thinking we do not need that. Let me see our speeds. I think we don't need a tailwind. I think it's more so for our back end Pokemon. Actually, yeah, we're gonna need that tailwind for Reggie Drake. Reggie Drake is definitely gonna need that. Maybe not you. Yeah, 195. We're gonna, we're gonna tailwind. Dragon Energy. Getting after that. Seeing how much damage we can do. Let me read the description. In case you guys do not know what Dragon Energy does, look at this. Converting its life force into power, the user attacks post Pokemon. The lower the user's HP, the lower the move's power. So it's basically a water spout for Dragon. And then we got the Dragon Ball and the Dragon Fang rolling out from here. We get rolling. But he doesn't have a Tailwind Pokemon out, so we're going to go out with this. He's going to fake me out. He's going to fake out my Tailwind user and do not hit my... Uh... Oh, no. That's rough. That's rough. Drake will eat up. Draco has a lot of HP. That's not going to do a lot. But, yo, you take out my Talent Flame? Hey! What are you doing? Oh, we're not going to do a lot of damage here. Rough news for us. Rough news for us. Here goes Dragon Energy. Maybe we can do a lot of damage. We're half HP. I don't think it's going to do too, too much. Dude, that could have did so much damage. That could have took it out of the Robo Boom, no problem. And probably bring that thing down to a Sash. Could have been thriving. Dang it, man. He's buzzing now. Um, we gotta get out center, right? 100%. Let's save my Kyogre for the back end. I really am gonna save my Kyogre for, like, the back end. So nice gonna come out here. And let's get rolling. Let's get rolling here. Might protect my Drake out here. I might do it. I think I'm just gonna protect him. I'm gonna Dynamax it. And I think I'm gonna Airstream. Do I Airstream take you out? Or do I go into a darkness take you out? I think he Calyrex is posing a bigger threat because he's got that Grim Nade boost right now. So we're going to roll from there. That's going to be the play. Yeah, I got to get rid of him. Got to get rid of him. I'm going to Witch Alls. Dang it, man. Witch Alls Calyrex and he's going to go into... Okay. A little Cinder v. Cinder. A little Cinder v. Cinder. Hey, maybe I could have dropped like a, a Draco Meteor or something along those lines. But I wouldn't mind taking out this uh, Cinderace. I really don't. The Cinderace poses such a big threat all around. Such a good Pokemon. I'm surprised it's still not used as much as it was. Like, it's still phenomenal Pokemon. Great Pokemon all around. But there is one Pokemon that will outshine it if it ever gets released in the game, which it probably won't because I think they're done releasing, and that is going to be Greninja because I believe Greninja learns a similar ability or the same exact ability. And Greninja is just amazing. I think he might be one of the strongest starters, or if not, is the strongest starter in all of Pokemon. That Infernape, I think Cinderace can be ranked up there. Like, stat-wise, we're talking about. A Max Darkness just cleans out this Cinderace, which is beautiful. We get a special attack drop as well, which is nice. Or special defense uh, drop, which is nice and lovely, considering our Reggie Draco friend over here is special attacking. He's going to go for a knockoff. Yo, come on, man. Why are you taking off my item? Just drop the Draco Meteor. Taking off my orb, man? That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted was my precious little orb. I'm going to recover a little bit of HP. I'm going to go back to uh, above half. Back into the green area for my boy. My little dragon buddy. Like how, like, I like how that, uh, the skull on his head, the little dragon skull, it's, it's definitely a Charizard skull, right? 100%. Oh, we're definitely knuckling into that thing. Bandstream coming out here. And good thing he's starting to weather up. Good thing he is starting to weather up. I'm definitely gonna knuckle. I might trick him here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take out this Robo here. I am going to knuckle here. This knuckle is four times super effective, plus with that stab. I know we don't have Life Orb, but I still feel like we're taking out, especially if he doesn't Dynamax. Which, he might not Dynamax. Actually, he probably will Dynamax. He probably has a Draco Fish in the back. Yeah. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing this thing. I don't think we're going to end up taking it out now. Maybe we can. Maybe not. But, again, we still have Kyogre in the back. Kyogre's going to be able to outspeed him 100%. So, if I can get rid of this Lullaboom, we sit pretty well. We might proc Policy, which is scary. And then he might just take out Cinder. Let's see what happens here. Just for a grass guy. Can you eat this up? You do. I love you, Reggie Draco. Reggie Draco might be able to take out that uh that roll room. Well he should be able to. Maybe we get a double kill? I don't again, I don't think we're taking out the siren though. Maybe we are get a crit. Oh, 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 oh. oh! That was close. That was real close. That was real close. There is Calyrex and Tyranitar left. That's who he's going to have left. He's going to take out my Cinderace, I think, here. This Draco Meteor should be able to pop out here. Say, see you later to you. 
We still have Kyogre in the back, and we're gonna change up weather in a little bit. Bang, bang, bang. Let's sing out my face. So we take out Rollaboom. We get a crit. I don't think we need it. I think we're taking him out regardless. And there goes my sack drop. So Reggie Draco's done for. Cinderace probably gonna go down here. Just beat the spot time and try rock ball. Eat it up. Say yo, that's a tasty snack, Cinder. Or go after Reggie. Oh, yes, sir, Cinder. Yes, sir, Cinder. Okay, that's big. That is big, 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 big. Big, 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 big. Because in that case, I'm definitely going... Oh, we can maybe Astro Barrage pick up a double KO. Let's see what happens here. We gotta see what's happening here. It's a good one. This is a good battle. It's a real good battle. Does he still have Draco in the back? I think he still has Draco, right? Oh, no, no, no. He did not bring Draco Fish. He brought Cinderace. We know all four of his Pokemon. It's, two, it's 2v3, but we're low on HP. Um, I think I just dropped a Draco Meteor. Try to get this KO here. And if I can get the Speed Boost over here. Let's see. He's going to guard. Okay. That's fine. If Cinder's going to go, that's fine. No Astro Barrage should come out here. Oh, double KO, man. Double KO. Okay. This is totally winnable for me. I still have Kyogre. I just have to eat up whatever, whatever Calyrex is thrown at me. And hope Origin Pulse hits both. Because I'm not going to go into a Water Spout. Because I know that. Oh, no. He's plus two. Oh, no. Oh, no, yo. I don't think Kyogre's eating this one up. He's plus two. He just got a double kill. <laughs> oh, my lord. What is going on? This thing really just got a double kill. Plus two. Weather's in our favor now. I know we outspeed Tyranitar. We don't outspeed the Calyrex. And we need to eat. And Origin Pulse has to come out here. If we eat, we win. Right? I, I see us 100% taking out Tyranitar. And pretty high chance of taking out the Calyrex. But we have to eat. Come on, Kyogre. Eat it up. Oh my lord, man. Yo, GG's. That double attack boost really clutched up. And this guy ends up picking up the win. And we go 2-1. Solid set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1. Got to show off this team pretty much to its fullest potential. The only Pokemon we didn't get in was Serene over here, but you guys already know what that Pokemon does. Cinderace rocked out. Kyogre rocked out. As always, we got to show off Reggie Draco in that last battle. And then Regilecki and Talonflame were great Pokemon that we brought in, I think, every single battle? No, we didn't bring Regilecki in that last battle. But you guys still got to see him in the first two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today. And above all else, have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.